that Jaden Blue, uh, one of the top ranked running backs in the 2022 class, has decided after uh, discussions with his family that he is going to opt out of his senior high school season. Set to be a senior this fall. He is saying he's going to uh, opt out in order to prepare for college. He is committed to play for Texas. And as a, uh, as a Houston native um, coming from the Lone Star State, you know, that's just, it's going to be something that uh, he's just decided we're going to get everything together. You know, we're going to try to, you know, enroll at Texas as soon as possible. I believe that's a, at least the, uh, what I've gotten from, from some of this is that we should probably expect to see him on campus in, in January, maybe, but not playing uh, in that fall season, not because of injury, not because of any eligibility issues, at least that we know right now, this is, a, this is a little bit new. Now, does it connect to uh, players opting out of, you know, to get ready for the NFL draft, opting out of a bowl game, you know, shutting things down for the season? We obviously saw that in COVID-19, but we've also seen it over the years with, you know, a little injury. Yeah, we're going to shut down, get ready for the draft. You know, bowl game, opt out, get ready for the draft. So a high schooler opting out of a senior high school season to get ready to play for the Longhorns from the um, uh, there's the, the Jaden blues position. There's the Texas Longhorns. Like if you're Steve Sarkeesian, what do you think about it? I don't know. There's a lot of ways to, to jump into this. And I'm, I'm curious to see uh, how y'all are, are feeling about uh, what seems to be a, a little bit of a, a novel. Again, I think it's novel because it's not by injury. It's not by eligibility, right? Like this is a personal decision uh, to, to just shut it down and not play a senior year of high school. How are y'all feeling about it? I hate it. I hate it. I'll go. I'll jump out there. I can't stand this. This to me is everything that's wrong with our society. And you should see this trend taking place over time when we've seen players opt out of bowl games, right? Meaningless bowl games. And we see players opt out of season, but those are kind of interesting because it's, well, there's a millions of dollars at stake and you're going to, why would you play in a meaningless bowl game? Uh, or, you know, last year was COVID, so he kind of understood. So it was really hard to criticize a Jamar Chase. Like, what's got left to prove? And he's, you know, could get COVID. And we didn't really know what could happen. So it was hard to criticize it. But yet in all of it, there has been this massive push. And I, I would say it probably got the loudest with Leonard Fournette was, why would he even play college anymore? Why would he even play? Uh, you know, he's going to be a millionaire. So he should just skip and just start going there. And I think we will see more players take that route. But I've always kind of been worried that we would see this mindset creep into the lower levels. Transferring. We see players transfer in college. Guess where else they transfer? High school. They hop from high school to high school. And now you've got a player who has seen this mentality creep in and he's thinking, why would I play high school? I don't, I don't need to do anything more. I don't need to accomplish anything more. I've got my goal. I'm going to go play at Texas. I'm just going to bounce on my teammates and the team that I started. And I would say it would come with significant word of caution to Steve Sarkeesian by saying, what if he balls out his freshman year? What do you think he's going to do? He's going to bounce for the NFL. And he might wait out two years because everybody would say, why is he not getting paid? Just wait to go to the NFL. And to me, I just keep going back to the question, does anybody actually want to play the sport they proclaim to love? Like, is it all about the end game? Is it all about the scholarship? Is it all about the money? What happened to playing because you love to play the game? And I, it's just, it's beyond me how this is becoming so acceptable in our society. And I think it's dangerous. And I think it's, I don't like a precedent that's being set and that I don't think he's going to be the last one to do it. I, I think the, the concern over this is, is pretty overblown guys. Um, first of all, you got to realize his high school already got damn near 500 carries out of Jaden Blue's legs as a sophomore and junior. That's a huge workload. All right. You wanted Jaden Blue? You got about a whole high school career's worth of them in two years. That that's a ton of carries. And you could tell me, hey, like he's a five star type back. He run, you know, he's gonna run out of bounds. Like, like he's not getting getting crushed by his other high schoolers. To me, this is just like a pitcher in baseball. If you've proven what you can do, if you go out there and you throw 97 in the summer showcase circuit, right? You, you, you go to perfect game or, or whatever, and you're popping 96, 97 on the gun as like a lefty, your dad is probably telling your, your high school baseball coach, hey, man, he'll throw 30 innings this year. That's it, right? 
we're, we're going to throw just enough to show he's healthy. And, and, and that's all. You know there's a number of bullets in that arm. You know, with specifically with the running back position, there are a limited number of, of bullets in those legs. And everyone's like, oh, this is going to become a, a huge epidemic of, of guys doing this. Not really. Not to me. I don't, I don't see hardly any kids who are that proven at that level following their junior year in high school. He's a very select, special player who has been you know, run like crazy by his high school team. I mean, guys, almost 500 carries in two years. That's, that's a ton of, of work on those legs. I, I don't think this is going to become a real commonplace thing. And, you know, Danny asks, is it all about the money? I don't know if it's all about the money, but for a lot of these kids, you know, who, who don't come from privileged backgrounds, like their earning capability far exceeds the earning capability of a lot of their other family members. Like this is a chance for them to level up, not just themselves, but you know, a lot of their families. And so I, I don't think it's that bad of a decision in this specific case for this specific position, given his, his talent, how much he's proven and the workload they've put on. Him. I don't like it either. Mm. <laughs> said, Get him, Tom. Come on. Oh, so hold on. That said, I'm not, I'm not worried about it becoming a huge thing. I'm fine with the kid doing it like i get it but i don't like it i don't like players I, you don't get better by not playing put it that way like if Three. you want to be a great football player the best way to do that is not i'm going to sit out and rest my legs it's not if i want to be the best pitcher it's not eh, i'm not going to throw and rest because i've only got so many bullets in my arm because well we can get into a whole talk of is it the amount of pitches you're throwing or is it the pitches you're throwing that lead to your arm problems anyways but so I don't like it. I do think that he won't be the last. I don't think it's going to become an epidemic, but I won't be surprised at all if we start seeing more players doing this. And frankly, if I'm a coach and I've got a kid committed to me and he opts out, like Danny said, that's kind of like, ah, oh, that's that's a little bit of a red flag in the back of my mind. It's like, it's not like I'm not going to take him because he's still a great talent and I want him on my team. He's going to help my team. But And especially now maybe in the transfer portal age, I'm not really counting on having anybody for more than a year, especially if they're highly rated. If they don't play right away, they're probably going soon as it is. But it's in the back of my mind. It's like, well, crap, is he going to do this now? Like if, if I give him the ball too much as a freshman and he plays well, or if I give him the ball too much as a sophomore and he plays well, am I going to lose him for his junior season? Is he going to pull the same thing? Be like I'm opting out of waiting for the NFL. And so for a coaching, yeah, it's a red flag. Just philosophically, don't like it. 